Create a selection or mask using the paintbrush tool. Press Q to enable the quick mask and then select the paintbrush. Paint with white on the areas you want to select. Switch to black to erase areas. Press the mask button to create the mask. Soften a selection by switching to quick mask and then apply a Gaussian blur filter from the filter menu. Save your selection for later use by going to the channels panel. Right-click on the pixel selection and choose Create Spare Channel. Right-click on the created spare channel to rename it. You can now load the saved selection by right-clicking on a spare channel you created and then select Load to Pixel Layer. You can combine saved selections by right-clicking on a saved spare channel and then choose Add to Pixel Selection. You can also subtract selections by using the subtract to selection from a spare channel. Sometimes it is easier not to select the subject. I can use the flood select tool to quickly select the background and then use the invert pixel selection from the select menu. You now have a selection of your subject which you can convert to a mask either by using the mask button or by using the refine action. You can also save the mask for a later use by using the channels panel. Make sure the mask layer is selected and right click on the mask alpha and choose create spare channel. Don't forget to rename the spare channel. You can also restore the mask very quickly by creating a new mask and then right click on the spare channel and use the load to mask alpha to apply it directly as a mask. If you want to get rid of the grey areas around the edges in your mask, use the Dodge and Burn tools. After you Alt or Option click on your mask, which will now show the mask, select the Burn tool and set the tonal range to shadow and paint on the grey areas to make them black. Use the Dodge tool with the tonal range set to highlights and you can now make the grey areas white. You can blur your mask by applying a Gaussian blur filter from the Filters menu while the mask layer is selected. You can change the density of your mask by applying a Curves or Levels adjustment to the mask. Make sure you select the Alpha channel and then by increasing the black or white level you can adjust the transition and by adjusting the output levels you can control the opacity of the black and white areas in the mask. And here is a bonus tip before I leave you. By using the minimum or maximum blur from the filters menu while the mask is selected, you can expand or contract the mask very easily. In Affinity Photo 2 you can create compound masks, allowing you to combine masks. Click on the mask icon while holding the Alt or Option key and choose Compound Mask. Create your mask and make sure they are a child of the compound mask layer. Choose how you want to combine them by clicking on the icon in front of them and selecting the Combine mode. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.